What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We're back on Fight Night Round 4 and I'm going to challenge myself today. We're going to go on the GOAT difficulty. I've been told this is the hardest hard difficulty just ever on Fight Night. This is the career that most people just can't retire undefeated because it is so challenging. So I have done a couple of these already, I won't lie, but that obviously, you know, means very little because the, it is so challenging. Uh, but I'm going to go with fighters that we haven't used at all yet. I'm going to go with um, the Ray Robinson versus Marvelous Marvin Hagler. I'm going to play as Ray Robinson, give myself that little bit of advantage. And I'm going to quickly, just so you guys know, I'm going to go, go. Do, 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 there you go. Everything is like that. All with the presets. Just so you guys know, I mean, the whole video is about me playing on GOAT. So I'm not going to cheat at the end of the day. That would serve absolutely no purpose. So let's get it Broadwalk Hall and let's go. Alright, let's get it boys. So I know right away the strap is not to get countered mainly. Oh my god. Oh. So I, my game plan is to keep it a range. Lots of jabs, lots of straights. Body shots as well. What the fuck is he throwing at me? Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Whew, it's okay. And one thing I've noticed, what, what I've heard as well through through the grapevine, is that is that the goat difficulty adjusts constantly to what you're doing. So you have to always keep it on its toes. You can't just I couldn't just go twelve rounds and jab. I mean, he's already picked up on the the jab game right off the start, so. We're going we're gonna to lead with body hooks then if we have to. Okay, what's he doing? Nice job to land that counter See, but I can counter as well. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body we go, work that jet. for you later in the fight. No sense ah. of time. Get right to Hagler it. is light and fast here, boys. He just missed that shot up top. Okay. We're not going to do too much here because we are uh, right off the start. We, we're getting caught with a lot. I don't want to be silly with it. Teddy, give me a scouting report. I'm happy to Sugar chill. Robinson. I definitely haven't won the round. Everything really, really well. What does he do just better than anybody? Does? Look, Sugar Ray Robinson was one of the great hitters from either side of the plate. He could set punches up. In all kinds of different scenarios. Ah, uh, didn't let me throw it. I had my thumb already outside, pushed on the analog stick, so it didn't, didn't want to do anything. To. That's on me. That's he on me. That's not the game, though. That's on me. Being an idiot. And he had a great, great chin. Okay, it's all right. We'll take our time with it. We'll take our time with it. I don't... I'm not here to... I'm not here to blow myself Hagler blow myself out in the first out. round. That, that's the key, you know? I'm, I'm not... I'm not here to destroy myself in the first round. I'm going to take my time with everything. I'm going to take my time with it, you know? Yeah, see, I can throw shots too, Hagler. I can throw shots too. It's not just you, buddy. Hagler's showing you a little defensive. He goes down. Oh, he Shit. Be close here. That is not what I fucking around. wanted at all. Ah. <sighs> Fuck, man. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some bullshit. To move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> Fuck, man. What a shit round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times... That <sighs> what a point. shit what round that was for me. The knockdown for the other guy because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You were going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important. Oh, he Let's go! I mean, that was flash as fuck, but that was fucking clean. Pulled that bang, that right straight off them on the money. Let's see, look, slip, bing. The best part was, well, I slipped the hook and I leaned to the side and threw all that weight into it. Look, really, slip. I leaned that way. Crack. Straight down the fucking pipe. That was, that was a thing of beauty. I'm watching that one more time. Bang. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. He loves to get up. I know that. I know he's going to get up. Okay, so now I'm going to imagine he's he's going to adjust to these counters now. So now... Now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Good body shot, though. Teddy, in this game, so many fighters are influenced by those who they look up to. In the case of Sugar Ray Robinson, he was a big fan of Henry Armstrong. Yeah, Hammer and Hank. Henry Armstrong, one of the greatest fighters of all time. He put his head on your chest and he just... My, my, my plan now... Sugar Ray Robinson is to, was more than is that. to take my time now with this round. We've won it already. We've won it. We've won at 10-8 already. So why would I? Why would I go crazy? You know, take my time of it. At the end of the day, it's the it's the toughest difficult against Marvin Marvelous Hagler. There ain't no way we're gonna you know come out here and just destroy this man. We've got to take our time of it. You know. So that's that's kind of the game plan here. I mean, he has slowed down a lot since the drop. So that's why I'm. Trying to work shots in particular. Hagler able to block that punch. Halfway through round number two. Now that's some fine work right there by Hagler. That's all right. Step back. Well, good head movement I have at the minute. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores it's a bit of a slow, bit of a slow burner this round now. Firing off the uppercuts. Great but I'm okay exchange. with it. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Ray. <laughs> Move out of the way. Okay. Well, so I'm not happy with my stamina, admittedly. I'm very I'm very unhappy with the way it looks at the moment. If you could improve anything with Marvin Hagler. I won that round for sure, obviously. So How the hell did he get 71 points? Not, it would be to use what the fuck? A little bit more. He comes at you in a way where sometimes you forget he's a southpaw. He's going to come out absolutely bloody you. fine, isn't he? he up a little bit. Maybe take advantage Jesus. of being a lefty by moving to the right a little bit more and making yourself, you know, just a little bit more of a southpaw. See, I'm, I'm getting good at the, I'm getting good at pulling the straights when I. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Robinson. Good uppercut to the body there. Okay, two body hooks blocked though. That's all right. Take our time with it, you know. It's no biggie. He always gets a bit like when he lands like a good counter punch. He gets a bit like like uh, like overzealous. He throws like a hundred like strikes right off the right off the bat. So I'm trying to think of a way I can capitalize on that eagerness, but it is tough because this is Marvin Hagler we're talking about. I know you guys like these kind of fights where like it really is like you know it's not one sided at all. Ray Robinson with 108 knockouts. You're lucky if a lot of fighters have had 108 fights, even back in his day. Look, he was a great puncher with either hand. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, he is Ooh. stunned. He could go down. 
I'm going to attack the body, get that stamina down where I want it. That's all I wanted to do. I wasn't going to knock him out. I just wasn't. I could, I could feel it that I wasn't going to knock him out. Yeah, I wasn't going to knock him out for sure. What I can do is I can take my bloody time of it, though. Good block there by Hagler. Bloody hell, he's so accurate. That's 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 the worst part. Because he goes back to his corner with so many points. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Starting to suck in the back of my throat. That was nice, though. Okay, yet again, not a great round. I did hurt him, yes, but it still wasn't a great round. Because he lost that last round just based on defensive laziness. Well, you can always make comparisons. And now it's you watch a basketball game, you say, you know what, this team goes losing because they're not rebounding, they're not boxing out underneath the boards. Well, guess what? They weren't taught how to do that. You have to know how to do that. He's not going to start showing you defense if he doesn't know how. He does not know how. He has not been taught. God damn, he's see what I mean. So like now, I feel like he, I feel like he's he's adjusted to everything I've done. Like every time I've had success, he has adjusted to it like perfectly. You know, like he he blocks up the second I I, I jump in because he knows I'm throwing the jab. See, there he done it again. There he done it again. And that was pretty clean by me, actually. But, I mean, we're not looking in the best shape already at, at round four. Long been under the tutelage of the Petronelli brothers in their gym in Brockton. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because I think that's part of the strength of Hagler. It's got nothing to do with his southpaw style and his ability to punch on either side and his ability to box or fight with you, but being loyal. You know, he's been tempted like anyone else to leave these guys. He stayed with them. I think that strength of character, that loyalty, shows itself inside the ring. It's a tough... It's a tough one, this. I mean, he's already been dropped once, so there's, like, a small chance I could, I, he might not get up from the next drop. So that's... That's a little bit what I'm hoping on for a while. But, you know what? We've got eight more rounds, possibly. You know, so. So I mean, he lands a counter punch and he just goes at me because he, he knows I almost like freeze. That's... Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter. Both of us landing counters, but he lands like such. That fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter. And the he just lands so much. Set up the table where he's been able to eat whenever he's wanted. <laughs> On the mark with the overhand right. <laughs> Move out the way, move out the way, Robinson, move out the way. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Shit me. In bad shape. That's it. This is just This is just not like an ideal. See what I mean? He, he's a, he, he just right away. You play on pro, they they don't do that. They don't do that often. But he right away knows I'm coming for that. I'm coming with the jab. I'm leading with it. He's starting to gain a little bit of confidence because you know now he's been left alone a little bit, and that see that's the danger. His opponent is letting him get himself healthy again, and if a guy who's been hurt starts to gain confidence, all of a sudden you have a tougher fight than you ever thought you were gonna have on your hands. 
That was pretty nice. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They're Shit, I tried to move out the way of them shots, but my lord, did he just fucking hit me with everything in the arsenal. Nope. You're alright. You're alright, Robinson. Don't worry. You're alright. You're... No, no, no. You're alright. He's fine. He's fine. Don't worry. Holy shit. Hagler on go is... Hagler on go is by far the toughest... The toughest... I have fought so far. I've had four fights on going. Hagler is by far the toughest motherfucker. One, two, we're going to try, guys. Three, we're going to really try and defend ourselves. If we can get up, we're going to defend ourselves this round. Six, seven, get up, get up. So we defend ourselves this round. we got... Fuck. Out. He's been down. He's rising up. Oh, look, he knows, he knows, he knows we're weak. Fuck. I'm trying to land a few shots just to keep him at bay. Fuck, man. You know what? I This is, this is to me, this is the fun. Because this is such a challenge. Oh my god, I got up. Like, I need to adjust at the speed of... I need to adjust at the speed... I literally threw a jab. I need to adjust at the speed that the AI is adjusting. That's what I need to do. That's all I need to do. I need to adjust at the speed that they're adjusting. We're alright, we're alright. We're alright. Fuck! It's gonna take a lot to rise up from that. What a body shot that was. Oh my god, this is actually, for starters, so fucking fun. I'm pushing it all the way. I'm pushing it all the way. Look. See that? I'm pushing it all the way. I pushed it for 8 seconds and I got up about, what, that much? It is what it is, man. Fucking fun, though. Like, Hagler's a freak on go. I should have done better. But you know what? It's all about the practice for me. It's a lot of fun. I, I don't really care. It's just so much fun. I've really been enjoying it. We got the shit being. I think for the second round, where we done really well in counting him with that lucky knockdown. But Jesus Christ, did he beat the fucking shit out of us. Fair play, though. Fair play, man. But you know what? We'll get more practice on Go. Maybe we'll do it on the stream. I'm not going to do my career mode on Go. Obviously, probably pro or champion. Um, but, you know, man. I've, I've recorded like five videos on this game today because it's just been so much fucking fun. I just keep playing it over and over again. Uh, but holy shit was that difficult. But it was fun. But thanks as always for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.